I used to buy way too much software on Black Friday, which I didn't always end up using. And the same is probably going to happen this year. <laughs> but I'm going to try to buy less and be more intentional with what I buy uh, this year. I will show you what I bought last year and what I used and didn't use from that list. And there will, of course, also be some recommendations for anyone who has a web design business. So let's get into it. Oh, and by the way, all of the links are in the description. The first one I am looking at is Bitflows. They have a very good deal, 45% off. This is an automation platform and I have become a huge fan of automation. I think this is the next big thing for websites because you're turning your website basically into a sales machine if you have some automations installed. As some of you know, I am a fan of uh, AutoKit. I run all of my automations right now in AutoKit. I've also tried to work with N8N. N8N is great, but it's a little bit too technical for the day-to-day, -day, the way the interface is. I like powerful features, but it should not be too technical. So therefore, I love AutoKit, but I already have the business plan. I was just interested in Bitflow because it runs on your WordPress website. So there's no limitation here and it looks similar to AutoKit. So I'm probably going to get one license of this. Oh, it's actually only 24% off. The bigger deals are somewhere else. So yeah, that's the first one I'm looking at. The second one is animation add-ons. This is a GSEP integration for Elementor. I don't know if this is good, okay? I'm still testing it. I've been playing around with it, but I don't have a conclusion yet. So this is not a recommendation. I'm just showing you what I am about to buy. I've been messing around with GSEP for Elementor, but you have to mess with quite a bit of code. And this plugin basically gives you a super no code uh, visual workflow. So they also have a lifetime deal. So I'm probably gonna buy this one or the five sites as a test. And I'm also thinking about making a video about this platform because I think Elementor really needs a good GSEP plugin. But again, I don't know if this is good. It just looks good on the website, but that doesn't always say everything. The next one I'm looking at is Link Central. So right now, I am using rebrandly.com and this website looks pretty cool, but the platform is not so great and it's quite expensive for what it does. It's a link shortener with tracking included. I am paying around $40 a month, which I don't know which plan I'm actually on. But again, I don't really like the platform. So now I'm looking at this one. It's quite new, but it's just very simple. It's inside of WordPress. And so I'm probably going to get a one side license to test it. They have 30% off, so it probably will be around $100. And if this is good, then I will probably buy something like this because many clients can also uh, benefit from a uh, link shortener. And I saw on AppSumo that Link Central is actually 80% off. So this is definitely the place to get it. Uh, the next one is WP Remote. This is a premium backup solution, a whole dashboard for clients. Uh, right now, I am still using Manage WP to log into most websites, but the backups from Manage WP are not that reliable, I have found. I've often found that they crash, so I only use Manage WP right now to uh, log in. But then I saw a video of WP Remote uh, from uh, Imran, actually, and I was like, wow, that actually looks really good. And I want to get more serious about maintenance packages in my web design business. And so this platform has not only backups, but it has a whole Whole bunch of other stuff so i'm probably also going to get a few licenses of this to test whether this is nice i really like this feature visual regression it basically shows what has changed on what page because we often find out way too late that something is broken and so that idea sounds powerful i don't know if it's good we'll see i will let you know later i am a fan of the independent analytics uh, free WordPress plugin. It's an alternative uh, for uh, Google Analytics. It's super easy to install. I've been recommending this for a while now, especially for people that don't want to have the cookie banner on their website that is required if you use Google Analytics. This is a perfect alternative and I've installed it actually on many websites. It's nice, it's reliable. So far, I've not needed the pro feature, but I'm going to take a look at it uh, because they do have a pretty nice lifetime deal. And then you get all of these features. Uh, I want to become better at conversion, which means that you also need to track 
stuff, right? Just page views alone is not enough to get a good understanding. So I'm probably also going to get a license of this one. And the last one on my own wish list is Fluent Card. Many people have talked about this. They say it's super quick. It's an alternative to WooCommerce. They do have a pretty sweet lifetime deal, 250. So maybe I will get this one because I still want to have a web shop on uh, livingonpixels.com, but I haven't had the time yet because I've had too much on my plate last year, too many distractions. So I hope next year I will get to the web shop and I really want to avoid WooCommerce because I think WooCommerce is just an overwhelming experience. It's not a bad product. It's just an overwhelming experience. I don't think their interface is great. I think they need a huge redesign, but, but... I also bought a license for a sure card last year because I thought that I would actually build a web shop. But again, I didn't have the time yet. So that's why I'm not sure yet about if I'm going to buy fluent card because then I'm going to have two basically. So yeah, let's now talk about some products that I bought last year and actually used. I already said it, but it's definitely AutoKit. Here is the proof. I already almost have 70 workflows in this tool. Many of them were also tests for tutorial, I have to be honest. But many of them are also actually working for my business. And this company was actually called Sure Triggers before. So if you watched my last year Black Friday video, then you know that I bought this, okay? So now it's called AutoKit, it's the same company. The second thing I bought last year, which I actually used, is Affinity. Because I wanted a replacement for Adobe, I have not liked what Adobe has done in the last few years. And so I bought the Affinity package. But now, like a few weeks ago, uh, Affinity was bought by Canva. And so now it's completely free. If you haven't seen this yet, I think you should check it out. It's basically Photoshop, Illustrator, Adobe replacement for free on Windows and on Mac. It is incredible and i also used a green shift and this was one of these random purchases last year but i was kind of happy that i did this is a, a wordpress core add-on uh, on top of gutenberg basically or the block editor and the idea is that you get super cool animations but then extremely fast inside of Gutenberg. I've been playing around with Gutenberg and I'm starting to like it. Yes, it's a very interesting because it's just so quick to work with, but I'm gonna be honest, I didn't really like GreenShift. Their interface is a little bit too clunky, but it is quite powerful what you can do with it. So definitely something I'm happy that I bought, but for now I'm not gonna build a lot of sites with it. Maybe if they will improve later i will come back okay then products that i bought which i actually didn't use a lot which is unfortunately bricks builder i know many of you want me to create tutorials about this but i don't have enough experience with it yet i did explore it i think in two live streams but i didn't have the time yet to explore it further i am happy that i bought a license and they do still offer a lifetime deal, so that's still great. It's not a Black Friday one, but I am happy that I bought it. I actually even got it for a better price than this one. The second one is Core Framework. This works together with Bricks, but also with Figma and other page builders. It's a CSS framework system that allows you to connect your Figma to your page builder and then ha manage everything in here. It's a little bit too developer-y for me. <laughs> With a lot of coding references, I like something that's a little bit more visual, but there are very powerful features. I know it's a good product, I just haven't had the time yet. Oh, the integration with Gutenberg is actually free. I didn't know that. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, let's now talk about some products that I recommend for you, for your web design business that I already have. The first one is <laughs> my own courses. Yeah, I mean, I have to say it. I also have a Black Friday sale for both of the courses, a 30% off. Right now I have an Elementor Pro course and a Figma web design course. This course is more about becoming a better web designer, which requires most people to change their workflow. Many people start in the builder, design in there. And yes, that's all possible, but it's better if you spend the time actually preparing your design. So that's what this course is about. And of course, my Elementor Pro course, which will uh, be upgraded next year for Elementor V4. You can click on this button over here to go to the page and sign up for the coupon. 
And I also still like admin and site enhancements. Uh, their lifetime deal is pretty nice. They basically extend what you can do with WordPress. It's a very technical plugin, but it does give you a lot of power. They now even have like custom post types, admin columns, so you can turn post list into something like this, which makes it a lot easier for clients to manage stuff. Admin menu organizer, a media manager, which is also pretty nice. Converter, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here to make WordPress better, basically. And in this same area, of course, Crocoblog, I bought a lifetime license a long time ago. Uh, they're still running a great deal. So if you go to the pricing page, then you will see that uh, this package, which, which I always recommend, is now 50, or wait, sorry, not 50, 40% off. Here you will get Jet Engine, which is the most powerful add on for uh, Elementor, Bricks. Uh, they also have it in Gutenberg. I love this company. They're really nice people. They make a great product. It is quite technical as well. And I still definitely recommend it. I recently did a client project where I used Jet Engine very intensely. It worked perfectly. It was not easy, but it worked perfectly. So yeah, shout out to Crocoblock. And if you want an experience that's a little bit less technical than a Jet Engine, because I can understand, then uh, ACF Pro is nice. They also run a promotion now for 150 per year. This is a yearly price, okay? So with uh, Croco Block, you get a lifetime price. This is your yearly price. But the editing experience with ACF is easier. I think Croco Block could do a little bit of a better job with their UI. And this product is designed a little bit better. It also has integrations with almost all the builders. So definitely recommend ACF Pro. Then one that has nothing to do with web design, but it is really nice. Clean Shot. I bought this one this year and I am so happy with it. It's a screenshot feature and it's it's super cheap. $20 one-time payment. It looks like it's only for Mac, but it is just so nice. Just check it out for yourself, the features. If you make a screenshot, it will just show a little preview here in the bottom. And then you can make annotations. You can put a background. Uh, around that screenshot to easily share it on social media. You can make video recordings, capture a long page. There's just a bunch of really nice features for one-time price of $20. You cannot go wrong with this if you are a Mac user. Highly, highly recommend it. Uh, let's quickly go to Hostinger. They have a Black Friday still, which gives you a hosting package. You can, of course, go for the lower packages. But if you're working for clients, then I highly recommend the Cloud Startup or even a higher package because that's uh, when you get the biggest speed boost. You get a lot more for your money than with most hosting companies. And that is because Hostinger uh, has their own servers they're not renting it so most hosting companies they're basically just packaging around other hosting companies so for mid-sized websites this is great if you're dealing with high traffic websites then you should go even a level further which for example is wp engine or Kinsta, but those are also in a different pricing bracket, okay? I just wanted to say that there is levels to hosting, okay? Then UI Kemi, a very nice converter to go from Figma to Elementor. They also have a Bricks and a Gutenberg converter, which I haven't tested. I only tested the uh, Figma to Elementor converter. It's the best one right now because I tested I think three different converters. This one is the most minimal. It doesn't create unnecessary containers if you set up everything correctly in Figma. I did make a, a tutorial about this with all of the details. So I think it's pretty cool that they have a lifetime deal now. 50 exports per month, which is enough for most uh, small to medium agencies. So yeah, pretty cool. I hope that they will also find a way to properly convert from Figma to Elementor V4. We'll see about that. And at that it brings me to Elementor. Elementor offers a lot of products these days, but I mainly want to focus on the um, uh, page builder. They have 10 and 20% off for the bigger agency packages, which is not a lot, but it's definitely nice because there are always people who still don't have an Elementor Pro package. So this is definitely the week to buy. And that's it. There are other companies that I like, but they don't have any Black Friday sale. For example, Figma, unfortunately. I'm also a heavy Notion user, which unfortunately also doesn't have a deal. I'm also a fan of Bolt. 
but they also don't have a deal. So yeah, that was it. All the links are in the description. Some of these links are affiliate links. Most of them are not because I don't want to sign up to all of these programs. If you think I am missing something important for our web design business, then let me know in the comments. I hope that you like this little overview and then I will hopefully see you in one of my next videos.